Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Psalm 125 verse 1. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. Do you trust the Lord? Then you should not be shaken. Regardless of what you're going through, regardless of the problems that you have, you should not be shaken just like Mount Zion. You know why Mount Zion cannot be shaken? Well, Mount Zion is surrounded by other mountains. And these other mountains serve as a buffer, a protection against her. And so, friends, we are told now that as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds His people both now and forevermore. So just as Mount Zion is protected by other mountains around, we are told that, friends, we are being protected by the Lord. Amen. He surrounds us. His protection is upon us so that we are beyond the reach of the enemy, just like Mount Zion. Before they are able to reach Mount Zion, friends, they get to go through all the other mountains. See, in our case, before the devil can reach us, they get to go through the Lord. Can they overcome the Lord, the protection of the Lord? When we are told, friends, that if the Lord is with us, who can be against us? See, friends? So, let us not be shaken in our faith. Trust in the Lord. That's why we are told in Proverbs 3, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall make your path straight. Yes, if we lean on our understanding, friends, we are terrified by what we are going through because we just cannot understand how we can get out of our problem. It's beyond us to understand these things. But if the Lord is with us, He will guide and lead us and He shall give us the deliverance that we are asking. Amen. So friends, again, we should not be terrified. You know why? Nothing should surprise us anymore. No, there are no surprises, friends. We are told even from the beginning that there will be trials, there will be problems. Amen. Even the godly will go through all kinds of trials. Even from the beginning, we are told, friends, that no surprises. Everything has been written. Everything has been said. And a lot of times we say that, oh, I'd rather learn from my experience. But friends, that's foolishness. If that's the only way that you learn and that is going through the experience yourself, no, that's not the best way. The best way is to learn from the experience of others. Amen. Then you can avoid a lot of troubles if you learn from the experience of others. And everything has been written here. The experiences of David, the experiences of uh, King Solomon, the experiences of Moses, Elijah, Jeremiah, name it, including the disciples. Everything is written here. So why don't we read the scripture and learn from the experiences of these people, these godly men and women of God, See, if the Lord was able to extricate them from their problem, God can also extricate us or deliver us from our problem. So, let's put our faith and trust in God. Let us not be moved by anything that comes our way. As I said, friends, nothing should surprise us. Everything has been said from the beginning. Warnings have been given. We just have to trust in the Lord. Amen. Trust in His Word. Trust in the voice of God. So I pray, friends, that uh, uh, you are again uh, uh, encouraged and uh, your faith had uh, been uh, reinforced that you can stand strong in the midst of all the trials that we go through. Amen. And so, friends, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon some of you and be gracious unto you and lift up His countenance on you and give you His shalom. Amen. And so, friends, see you again next time. God bless. See you. Bye.